What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. More SHS action for you guys to check out. This time we got a face off versus Element Sabers, a deck that um, I think that when it was initially shown, it had a little bit of hype, but it kind of died down immediately when Flames came out in the uh, the OCG and it really didn't do anything. I don't think there were much expectations of this deck, especially considering that Nightmares don't raise the ceiling of this deck all that much. And obviously, things like Goki and Spiral are empowered by the Nightmare archetype so much i think i might have to actually uh reevaluate my build of element sabers and incorporate some other engines into it because i personally experience like if i don't open up with terraforming or temple it feels like i really just can't do anything maybe if i open up with dragons ravine because i play like destrudo and even set rotation and stuff just to make sure i get the field spill but man if you don't open up with terraforming or if you can't get the temple or some way to set your graveyard up with destrudo it is really difficult to succeed with this deck super heavy Samurai down at the bottom. Obviously, a deck that has some super OTK potential, but it's still like a defensive deck as well. It's a deck that like is defensive, but just with the monsters. You don't really play any back row at all because the monsters won't work with spells and traps in the graveyard. Just like a second, he opens up with Temple. <clears throat> obviously very good opening then he has the uh the ortho scorpio play so that he can get a second copy of brilliant fusion you know where this is kind of going since he has two copies i would say from here he essentially needs to drop a trick clown in the graveyard get a thousand blades and probably try to get the skull dread so he can shift one of those brilliant fusions back into his deck and not actually have to worry about it being a dead card that probably is going to be the game plan here and you see he has the four monsters on board easily I actually make that uh, six monsters because of a uh, link and all that good stuff minerva is going to be the play gonna drop a, a damage juggler in the graveyard gonna activate that effect to get hat tricker and he's gonna mess his opponent up pretty bad i don't know about that deco there but moon glacier turn one's always pretty good he's gonna go firewall dragon which uh, is not actually co-linked with anything so <laughs> maybe that was a little bit of a mistake is not able to close the duel out see i kind of feel like the better play here was to go for skull dread right because if you go for skull dread you get the you know put the brilliant fusion back in your hand maybe get some better cards but you know don't underrate super heavy samurai is going to sink over his opponent's monster and now he's actually going to do some massive damage and this was a misplay oh my goodness so uh i don't know if thousand but it's thousand blades optional or what once per turn at this card blah, blah 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 um i just want to see like when you um when you summon it when you take damage in this card is in the grid you yeah you can okay this was optional what he doesn't realize is his monster and damage calculation essentially counts as seven thousand attack and this card actually lets him declare two attacks during the battle phase so summoning this thousand blades was actually actually a mistake i think maybe he was like all right well i got the mrs radiant pumping it up but nah bro that's not that's not gonna work because he's actually gonna one shot you through that maybe actually it wouldn't have made a difference but yeah it looks like um even when you make those really spicy turn one plays you actually just get otk'd by super heavy samurai i told you this deck is real when it comes to offense i think that um sometimes the monsters that you open with super heavy samurai don't have a ton of ways of really blowing through their deck but light Seca does fix that to a small extent i think what they really need is just to get all their cards and the tcg i say that all the time so that people can really play this deck to its fullest potential i still think this guy really messed up maybe he should have went for a firewall that was co-linked or if you couldn't co-link it then don't even bother summoning it at all because he needed some type of defense because shs can definitely one shot an opponent who's not prepared for it anyways just a nice little duel for you guys to check out thank you for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos